हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज स्टेप डाउन चॉपर्स चॉपर इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डीसी टू डीसी कन्वर्टर इट्स डेफिनेशन इज इट कन्वर्ट्स फिक्स्ड डीसी इनपुट वोल्टेज इनटू वेरिएबल डीसी आउटपुट वोल्टेज डायरेक्टली सो सच टाइप ऑफ सर्किट्स आर डीसी टू डीसी कन्वर्टर्स दैट मींस दे कन्वर्ट्स फिक्स्ड डीसी इनटू वेरिएबल डीसी and such circuits are used in voltage regulator circuitries like uh, smps or battery charging circuitries and so on the major two types of uh, choppers or dc to dc converters are step up choppers and step down choppers in this session we'll discuss the step down choppers so first part is step down chopper with r load r load means resist to load at the input side we are applying this is the corresponding circuit diagram at the input side we are applying vs that is we are connecting a uh, dc input voltage this is the switch we can make use of any device uh, any power uh, device which is which will act as a switch for example we can use power transistor so this is the switch typically the voltage drop across switch is around 0.5 volt but it is a uh, uh, minimum so we are neglecting for the further calculations fwd is prevailing diode which is connected in parallel with this r r is the resist to load now the operation is pretty simple suppose we will switch on this particular device that means uh, suppose we are using one transistor and it is switched on that means let us assume that the switch is closed whenever the switch is closed whatever dc voltage that is vs is there that will be directly applied at the output like this so this dc voltage will be applied at, will be available at the across the output that is across this resistance r so this is the on time from zero to the value dt represents on time actually zero to t is the total time period total time period is on time plus off time d is called duty cycle so we can well say duty cycle d is equals to t on upon t t on is on time period t is the total time period so we we'll, we are considering that the switch is closed for about t on that means from 0 to value dt switch is closed due to closing of switch this voltage will be directly available across resistors r so this is the corresponding form of output voltage since the switch is closed and this is the dc voltage this prevailing diode will be reversed bias so it will not conduct after certain time period at the end of t on we will switch off this uh, we will open this switch that means this is t off time period so we will open this switch whenever the switch is open input and output will not be connected means no output you are not getting anything at the output because it is open circuited so you are not getting anything at the output again after t cycle repeats so depending on the closing and opening of switch we are getting the variable uh, dc voltage at the output this is the graph of v0 that is output voltage versus time next is graph of current output current versus time very simple current is voltage upon resistance so this current is v0 upon r now let us discuss analysis of this circuit that is step down chopper with r load first is calculation of average load voltage this is the average value we know that total time period is t which is combination of t on and t off so it is 1 by t integration 0 to t on why 0 to t on because during time period 0 to t up to t on only that means 0 to dt that means for time period t on the voltage is available at the output that we already discussed so formula is 1 by t integration 0 to t on v0 dt v0 is the output voltage so at the output we are getting vs vs is the voltage applied at the input side so in place of v0 i have put vs upon t this t is at is as it is this can be taken outside the integration integration of dt is t limits are 0 to t on so put upper limit minus lower limit so it becomes vs as it is this becomes t on t t on upon t but t on upon t this value is called duty cycle so it is d into vs this is the formula for average output voltage next is rms load voltage or rms output voltage 
This is V zero RMS formula is under root of one by t integration zero to t t. We may well write integration zero to t on one and the same thing. So integration zero to d t V s square d t. Actual formula me here pe V zero square hai, but V zero is V s, so it is V s square d t. Let us simplify it. We can well write this equation as under root of one by t. This V s square can be taken outside this integration, so I will write it like this. V s square upon t. Integration of d t is t, so limits are zero to d t. Well, further simplify it. This becomes V s square upon t. Upper limit is d t. D t minus lower limit zero, so it simply becomes d t. This term t gets cancelled, so this can be square root of V s square into t, which is same as V s root t. This is the value of R M S load voltage. If you want to calculate R M S load current, then it can be denoted as I zero or I L R M S. So we know that simple formula. It is V zero R M S upon resistance R. So that will be V s upon R into root d. This is the analysis of step down chopper with R load. Next is step down chopper with R L load. It is very much similar uh, to the earlier explanation of R load. Only difference is that here inductive load is used. So at the output in series with R, we have shown one inductor L. Now naturally there will be effect of inductor. Recall the things. Inductor stores the charges, and whenever uh, the circuit is not operating, that time inductor reverse. I mean, inductor uh, uh, sends this stored energy back to the source. This is the basic principle of inductor. The circuit remains uh, same apart from one additional component that is inductor. Now, V S is the voltage, DC voltage applied at the input. Whenever the switch is closed. Then you are getting on pulse like this. Whenever switches close, this F W D prevailing diode will be reverse biased, and entire V S will appear across the output. So you are getting uh, the V S at the output. This particular time period is T on, very much similar to the earlier case. But this is inductor action. So as far as the output current is concerned, the output current increases exponentially like this from some minimum value that is I zero minimum. To some maximum value that is I zero maximum. This is the effect of inductor. So during T on, मतलब जहाँ पे ये F W D reverse bias है, this V S is directly available at the output. In that case, the output current increases from I zero to I max in exponential way. After some time, that is after T on, this switch is open. Whenever switch is open. The stored energy in the in the inductor will be transferred back, but in that case, this path will be completed through free willing diode because this free willing diode will act as a short circuit, and whatever energy that was stored in the inductor will uh, be uh, trying to disappear dissipate through this path. So you are getting again exponentially decreasing curve from I zero max to I zero min. This will happen for the Time period T off again the cycle repeats. So this is the way how the step down chopper with R L load works. Now analysis of this circuit that is calculation of uh, average output voltage and R M S output voltage as well as R M S output current remains same uh, as that of earlier case because average output voltage and R M S output voltage this waveform is same to that of R load. So that calculation we have already done. So the calculation remains same. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.